is uh, Robert, I want to alert you to version 16.2, which should, co should come out in the next few days. Today is August 30th. Uh, let's go take a look at the one change you'll need to do if you're a Google Classroom user. I think you won't mind this at all. I think you will like it. It's a change that you've uh, wanted to do all along, most people. Uh, so let's go take a look at it. Now, when version 16.2 comes out, maybe uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, you will see the interface uh, has changed colors. You also only have one start class right here. So it's a combined start class for Google Classroom and also just regular Google. Now, the change that uh, you'll need to do is right here in the Rooms tab. In the Rooms tab, in the past, I can on, I was only able to accept static URLs. I was not able to accept um, nicknames or anything else uh, or the uh, meet link, which is really a lookup. So let's go take, uh, th that's the one change here. Actually, uh, the one required change is the change that you've, uh, most people have wanted to do all along. So uh, here it is, uh, triple click on the main room and paste it in and click save. Now, when you do that, uh, this is gonna be a dynamic link yeah, this actually underneath the covers is a lookup to a system generated nickname. You didn't create this yourself, it's just system generated. Let me show you how that works and I wanna show you how the sync works. So let's go to the meet tab. If you open this up directly uh, within the extension, it's automatically synced. However, I believe most users, uh, most teachers will open up their class directly in Google Classroom. So let's <clears throat> do it that way. You can click here or you can click on the icon. Let's click on the icon. So we'll open it up. and uh, we'll join it. There you go, it tells you that's the nickname. Now, we're gonna go inside here, we'll inspect the tab. The tab says meet and it has the 343 code. So if you see that, that's an ex excellent indicator that you are not in sync, you are not in sync. So uh, how do we get in sync? We will just click right here. Just click on the open which is a combined button, open slash sync main room, you'll get the message that you're synced, and then you'll see your tab says main. That's it, then you're good to go. Everything else is exactly the same. You could use static links if you want to. You could also use nicknames. I'll just show you that very quickly. I'm having, I'm gonna have videos coming out for that. So let's just say, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say Robbie one, Robbie two, Robbie three, and I'll click save, All right? Now I'm going to go to the Meet tab. Even though this is already open, that's fine. I don't, I don't have to worry about it. I can just uh, click the uh, breakouts. Good. Okay. Well, I'll click here. I'll click here. I'll click here. Then I'll retile everything. <clears throat> I'll skinny it down, and then I'll just prove to you. <coughs> Everything's working fine. Uh, let's see, we'll click there. The microphone's on, the video's on, and then I'll go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Okay, so that's it. Just please remember, if you get the interface and the color scheme has changed, that means uh, uh, that you're in version 16.2. You could also see that right here. Uh, if you're a Google Classroom user, just please remember this. You'll need to go to the main, uh, the main your main room in the root rooms tab right here, and just copy and paste the lookup link, which is, Google calls it the meet link. So just copy and paste it that right there. That should be very easy. That's natural for most uh, teachers. Most teachers want to do that anyway. So just copy and paste it there and hit save and you will be good to go. All right, thanks a lot and look forward to version 16.2.